What do I say again? You are on Hey Team Marie on my new auntie show. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jeannie Marie, and today I'm here to show you how to get this faux goddess braid because it ain't real, but it also like double ain't real. So like faux faux goddess braid because you know I ain't got no hair, and I just be making a way out of a way. So don't forget to hit that like comment button that's not what i mean so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep watching to see how i got this look okay so essentially you take your hair out the pack this is very old hair but whatever take it out the pack and you want to put a scrunchie around it Oh, I probably didn't show you. I basically wrap the scrunchie around so that you have a little loop. If you have a bun or if you can't afford to make a bun, this is what you would wrap your braid around. This is what I used to wrap my braid around. I am no longer have hair, so I just jumped my hair down and uh, figured it out since then. But you wanna secure this knotty part, right? Or this loop part to a doorknob or something. I feel like when I did it, I tried a doorknob and it didn't really work out. So um, a doorknob, your tea, whatever it is, or even if you get it started, I know, it's not a very. I know this is not a braid, but essentially if you kind of a doorknob, it, you saw how the twist was going back and forth, so it's gonna move. Uh, so either the easiest thing is a doorknob or your toe or some, just something stable to try to make the braid. I know it sounds crazy, but you ain't got nobody. Or if you have someone, have them hold the braid and you make your braid. Mine is now a twist because that's the easiest thing to do. And then from there, you wanna go on and move to the next part. Okay y'all, so I'm skipping the gel down part. I already did that and I tied it down. I think I just finished it, so not for too long, but I'm gonna layer these headbands on top of each other, three of them, because I'm gonna use a glue gun and I don't want the heat to reach my head. I did not burn myself. However, you need to be very careful. You can also use a mannequin head. At first, I did not use a mannequin because I wanted to make sure that the band stretched out to fully, I guess, be the right size for my head. And yeah, that's just, I went with it. Again, I didn't burn myself, so I think it was fine. I was very, very cautious, though. I will say that. And I did, I would say my gluing was a little bit more relaxed and comfortable when I had it on a mannequin, but you just put some glue down and put your braid down. My braid is a little bit fuzzy because I had it for a long time. I didn't just do it for the sake of the video and I should have sprayed it with some spritz or tried to make it less frizzy, but I was kind of in a rush. But literally just put the glue, pull down the braid and you just keep doing the same thing.
So once I was all set, I took off my scarf. Again, I probably had this on for just about an hour or so, and I did not concentrate on the back, which you see I should have, because it's looking a little lumpy to me, and I'm not a fan. But just go ahead and put on your braid and just be gentle. I ended up tying down my hair some more and trying to fix the lump in the back, and I think I, I was successful. In terms of pins, you probably only need one to tuck in that very end that you see there. And other than that, the band will be tight and adjusted to your head. I promise you I ran after an old man. Um, I was, I'm safe, he's safe, it's nothing like that. I ran after an old man with this on and the whole time it stayed on. It did not fall off, I thought it was going to. But you don't need any pins, I promise you. This will be secure if you did it the same way that I did. So if I could do this over, I would say like my, I would probably continue the part almost straight to the back of my head and allow my hair comb it toward my ears versus as if it's going into a ponytail. I used to do it like this when I had hair, but I think now that my hair is shorter and it looks a little bit different, I think that way would be a little more convincing and I think overall just better for this look. So... I'll probably try that in another video, but here's a view of the back, and I just, like, tied it down. Again, I only had it down for a little bit, but this is afterward, and I think it looks a lot better, and again, once you keep tying it down, it'll look better, so. So, actually, what I did want to tell you all is that I, this is, it's actually been a week since I've had my hair like this. It did, however get a little frizzy and like mess up like throughout the week just because my head tie came off and I think three times I probably touched it up probably one time a real good sprinkle my hair with water and try it again but right now it's time for it to go it's rain of course I didn't I was hoping to wear it for this song but it wasn't really intentional so if you're looking for a nice style or just something to just throw on in there it's great to just fool them. And who doesn't love a goddess braid? Like, I put this on and I was just like, oh, I know how they call it a goddess braid. So, I hope that you've enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you. I'll see you in my next video.